Python. Hello, welcome to the Quick Resume CFD Toolbox for MATLAB tutorial number 16. In this tutorial, we will show you how to perform passive scalar transport simulation in a microfluidic device. The geometry for our problem is the following. We've got kind of like an H junction and there is a water carrying the substances entering from the left with velocity 50 millimeters per second and at the top junction the concentration of let's say our drag is equal to 1 so it is maximal and at the bottom it is equal to 0. Yet there are two outlets and there are different pressures at the outlets. On the top there's 10 pascals and on the bottom there's 0 pascals so actually part of the flow will have a tendency to go to the bottom so we want to see how the drag spreads to the other part of the domain. As it often happens, the concentration of the species doesn't influence the flow, hence we will solve this problem in two steps. First we'll perform the CFD simulation, which is pretty standard, then we will deal with the concentration. Okay, let's go. So obviously what we do first is to read the mesh and visualize that. We also converted it into millimeters because it was created in meters. Then we define the fluid parameters, which is simply kinematic viscosity of water, set convergence criteria, also impose the inlet velocity profile 0.05 and iterate the system. Okay, let's just have a look at our mesh. Here we have that. Yes, it's perfectly fine. You can see that the height is four millimeters and the width of the system is 12 millimeters, so it's indeed microfluidic device. Okay, before we iterate the problem, let's just have a closer look at our boundary conditions. Coming back to the geometry, obviously there are velocity inlets at 15 and 16 with prescribed velocity. There are walls on all solid walls denoted as a 19, no slip boundary condition. But since there is non-zero pressure at the top, at 18, we prescribe the value of pressure. We prescribe 0.01 because it is simply 10 over a thousand. Quicker seam CFD toolbox operates in P over rho units, therefore just mind that all the time. Okay, everything else is standard. We compute the residuals, plot, and visualize the solution. Okay, let's go first. It should actually converge pretty quickly because that's a simple laminar flow on a pretty well designed grid. Yeah, just six iteration steps and there we are. Velocity has been already visualized, so you can see the flow entering at the top and the bottom at the same intensity, but because pressure is larger in here, part of the flow from the top also goes to the bottom. We could also demonstrate that maybe on pressure. It's slightly in a different order, but let's just have a look at that. Yeah, that's the pressure map. So yeah, the pressure is larger here than here. So on top of that, we will solve our passive scalar transport. Well, we just need to define one property and set the boundary conditions and set the system. It's exactly the same as for heat transport. The only difference is in actually the way the how quantities are called. So this is the mathematical problem that you want to solve. That's the advection diffusion equation. That's phi, that's our concentration. K is our diffusivity and that's the flux of our of our species and that's the advection due to velocity. Okay, diffusivity, we assemble the diffusion matrix in two dimensions, we add the scalar convection matrix due to velocity, we also impose the SUPG W asymptotic stabilization because at some point due to large concentration gradients the simulations might become unstable numerically so that would help convergence. And we also impose two boundary conditions, the zero concentration at the bottom and concentration equal to one at the top. 
since there are no boundary conditions at the outlet, there is nothing uh, imposed and by default we have the non-Neumann boundary conditions and that means that there is no concentration gradient across the boundaries. The system is solved in one step because it is linear and the concentration is plotted. Okay, so let's carry out this part. Apply with selection. Yes, and there we go. That's the concentration of our substance. So, similarly to the fluid that enters the bottom junction through the top, some portion of concentration also enters our system. And this is exactly what we wanted to design. In principle, by modulating the outlet pressures in here, we could uh, modulate how much of the species should enter the lower system. That would be very useful, for example, if you wanted to design a microfluidic device that is used for releasing center a certain amount of drug. We'll also show you some extra simple post-processing of this problem. Namely, we will integrate the pressures at the inlet. So let's display pressures first again. Evaluate selection. Yes. And uh, yeah, we would ask the question, what's the average pressure here? And what's the average pressure in here? So we just have to compute the boundary integral to D on the edge 15 and 16 and display the results. Evaluate selection. Yeah, and we can see that there are slight differences in pressures because at the top it's 13.58 and at the bottom it's 14.03. Okay, so this is everything that we prepared in this tutorial. We hope that you enjoyed that. Please drop us a comment, subscribe and visit our website quickersim.com and our YouTube channels for more tutorials. See you next time.